What up, Dukes? Welcome to another episode of Duke Center. I'm Matt, and this is my partner, Bennett. Dude, what a game last weekend. Super Bowl 51 was easily one of the best of all time. It's got to be. Patriots are down 28-3. to It looks like it's over. We're all just watching for the commercials. They come back. They win 34-28 to in the first overtime game in Super Bowl history. Tom Brady. Oh. Greatest quarterback to ever play the game. I mean, five Super Bowl rings tied with Charles Haley, JMU alum, uh, for the most all time. What a performance by him. Unbelievable. 466 yards passing, two touchdowns. He really did it all, especially in the comeback. James White did have three touchdowns of his own, caught 14 passes. He stepped up, and as a result, the Patriots winning. Bennett did win editor's picks. Champion of the world. Don't worry, next year, I'll be back in the game. Let's see. Switching gears to JMU Sports, though, women's tennis is off to a hot start. They are 4-0 in the season after two weekend victories. A really tough win against George Washington, 4-3. They were up 3-0 and then kind of squandered that lead and found a way to clinch it 4-3, and then they killed Navy 6-1. Great yeah. win there. Going 6-0 in uh, yeah. singles play against Navy. Really steamrolled them there. Emma Peterson undefeated in singles matches for four wins this season. And then Dylan Owens. I mean, seven in a row, including the fall season. She's been on fire. Yeah, Dylan Owens is a junior, Emma Peterson is a sophomore, a lot of young talent on that team. Moving forward, obviously this year they think they've got a lot of talent, but moving forward, they should have a nice little program there as well. Absolutely. Women's basketball, they're hot too. They went 2-0 over the weekend. Uh, Precious Hall scored her 2,000th point of her career. She's the third player in JMU history to do so. I mean, she's just been a dominant force all year. Unbelievable score. I think that's 22 consecutive games in double figures. Really just impressive. Logan Reynolds, on the other hand, not normally a double figure scorer. But her last two games, she has found a way to reach 10 points. Yeah, after 51 career games without reaching that mark, she's done it two games in a row now. And they're going to need it moving forward to this weekend. They've got Elon, two, one of the biggest games of the year here, top two teams in the CAA. They did beat Elon on the Phoenix's home court earlier this season, but now Jamie's going to have a shot at him again at the combo. Yeah, Elon's 10-1 and in conference. Jamie's 9-2, and top two teams. Third place team is 7-4, and so they've got a nice little distance there. In that first matchup, as you mentioned, Jamie won 76-70 to behind 41 points from Precious Hall. So assuming come Sunday, they're going to rely on her again. Yeah, she does have a tendency to step up in big games, so needless to say, we're going to expect her to have another big one that day. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us. Remember to pick up the paper on Thursday. We've got some baseball and softball covers coming at you for the first time this season. So looking forward to that and appreciate your time. From Bridgeforth to Centara, we've, we've got, got you covered. covered.